It's your girl Asia. I do hair reviews and occasionally I do mom vlogs and motivational cleaning videos. What's up you guys? So today I will show you how to do this crochet ponytail, honey. It's a giving crochet ponytail. Y'all know I love crochet ponytails. It's giving long, it's giving curly, it's giving inches, it's giving <laughs> extended ponytail the easy way, okay? So, um, I do have two packs of these. These are crochet. I did, um, I think some twists with this crochet here a while back, and I just had those two packs left. But they come like this. I'll try to find a video and link it in the description box below so you guys can see uh, what type of hair I use. But you're gonna need a, what's this, a scrunchie. And it, it needs to be stretchy, no metal clip. I'm gonna just take the crochet hair, put it on the um, scrunchie, open the crochet hair, put it through. It's just like you're crocheting on your hair, but instead you're crocheting on a scrunchie. And you want to make sure that knot is tight on the scrunchie, just like so. Super easy. Um, you could tie it multiple times if you want to, but I don't see the need to because I make sure my knot is tied pretty tight. So once you get the hang of it, you can just do it real, real quick. Like this. Put the loop through, I'm sure you guys one more time. Just like you're crushing on your hair. And slide it with the rest and that kind of tightens it up when you slide it. Take the next piece. Put it under the scrunchie, open the hair, put it through, and slide it on down with the other hair. So with the top of my head, I'm just gonna um, put some mousse on it. This is the Tropical Roots Foaming Mousse, and I also have the Kiss Edge Fixer. This is in the scent, I think, yeah, pineapple. And this says maximum hold. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my edges, put some mousse on it, tie a scarf on it, and finish, you know, going around with this. And this is still, I'm still on the first pack because I had two packs. So you yeah, still got a whole nother pack over here. So if you wanted to, you can just do two um, buns, but I don't have another scrunchie like this. I don't know where all my scrunchies is. Like scrunchies and bobby pins, they just disappear. Like, I don't know how, but they do. But yeah. All right, you guys, I'm about to start on the top part of my hair and then finish doing this crochet. This is how it's looking right now. So now I'm gonna go on with my mousse. Just to flatten all the flyaways and flatten everything down. Make it look nice and neat. And then I'm gonna go in with my edge control and my edge brush. I don't have that much edges, but it's okay. I'm gonna work with what we got. And I like to use my comb set to just shape them in the direction that I want them to go. And then the brush just smooths it on down. And you can also smooth it with your finger.
Okay, this is good. This is what I'm gonna get because I ain't about to. I'm gonna sit here all day and play with my itch. Let me see if y'all can see better like that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my scarf on. And this is a style right here too, but you know. <laughs> however you want it and I couldn't have kept my crisscross style in but them rubber bands were like um not my lash coming off them rubber bands was like irritating my soul <laughs> like it was like giving me headaches right there and I just didn't want my hair to be affected by those so I left them in for a couple of days and just decided to curl my hair down because I ain't got time I'm gonna be losing my edges, honey. All right, you guys. So I'm about to take these lashes off. All right, y'all. So I got both packs on here. Um, it didn't go all the way around, but that's okay because it's getting kind of heavy. But, um, yeah, I need to go in with my scissors and, like, cut the bottom. But right now, I'm just going to try to get my hair in, like, a little small ponytail so I can put the crochet ponytail on my hair. I'm going to try to make this bun, like, as small as possible. Okay, I just like period. But um, we're going to see how well that works out. I'm going to just take my edge control. Get the kitchen back here. Alright. Get my bristle brush like this. And just try to get it as um, lump free as possible. <laughs> okay. Now I am going to take my scrunchie. I might need to take two. I'm gonna take two and put it up like this. Okay, this is the easy part right here, but getting all of this hair into like a little small bun is gonna be the challenge. Okay, so I'm going to act like I'm putting the rubber band over this part of my hair, but I'm just gonna start right there. And then I'm going to take my rubber bands. These are the small black rubber bands. And I'm going to double them. And just try to fold down my ponytail as small as I can get it. Get it y'all. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna get the ponytail and we're gonna crochet it going forward. I mean, um, hook it on the ponytail going forward. Okay. And now we got the ponytail. Um, now what you want to do is just fluff this hair out so it can cover your bun right there. If you have shorter hair, this probably won't be, you know, as tedious as it is for me. Cause I gotta cover this big ass bun and just put it in my head. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna take some pieces from the back. From the back, from the back, from the back, from the back, from the back. From the back. Okay, right there. And then I'm gonna just go around the bun. You want to do it taut, not loose, but not too tight. I feel like a whole new person already. Okay. All right, and when the hair runs up at the end, you can get a bobby pin, but I just 
secure it in there really good. Okay. Okay, so here's how it's looking. Um, I need to cover this bun a little bit more. Okay. So here is this look when you get it covered, finally. Um, but that's why I like drawstring ponytails. My hair is kind of like thick, thick. So uh, it's easier for it to like just cover everything. Um, but yeah. I am just gonna go in with some hair jewelry and put that on. Then you want to space your jewelry out. You don't want it all in one section. Let me see. Put one on each um, each braid. too much <laughs> no okay <laughs> just making sure but um with the with, it's it's not like covering my whole bun you see my whole bun is exposed um so i'm just putting the hair on top like that and then what you want to do is get some bobby pins and just stick them in there <laughs> stick them in there so the curly hair can be placed on top of your hair and it won't go anywhere but yes, you guys, this is the inner look, period. Okay. I thought somebody pissy pimple ran as grandma said something. Hmm. Purr. <laughs> Purr. Okay. Grandma is supposed to say me a drawstring. Just like me. <laughs> but yeah, this is what she is giving, honey. Okay. Let me take some pictures like this. I'm going to come back and show you how I put it in the bun. I'm gonna just go ahead and put two just because my bun is showing out today. Okay. And that kind of conceals the um, bun also. If your bun is like huge like mine. Oh, that's my sister. Thought you were talking to me. Period. Alright, I don't know if I'm gonna do too much if I put these on the side. Let me see. Mm hmm. What y'all think? That's too much. Yeah, that might be too much. But these are also an option. I got these from Dollar Tree. Don't sleep on Dollar Tree accessories. Okay. But yeah, y'all, that's all I got for y'all today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, you can also put this hair into a bun. Let me go ahead and take some pictures with this look and then I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. You can take bobby pins and pin the extra hairs down or whatever. You could leave some hanging. Um, but yeah, it's your choice. Whatever you want to do with your bun, how you, however you want it to look. I wish I could have got it better, but this will do. Looks like a cute, messy, curly bun, anyways. But um, yeah, it's cute. 
but I like my ponies over there. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, turn your post notifications. Definitely give this a thumbs up because I feel like it's giving what it's supposed to get. <laughs> you feel me? So, the hoops, the big hair, the scrunchie, you feel me? The jewelry is just super cute, okay? It's definitely like a super chill, cute look. Um, definitely easy to do if you know how to uh, cornrow or twist. Um, if you don't, you can do the crisscross thing with the rubber bands. Everybody knows how to apply rubber bands in their hair. So yeah, um, this is super cute. And I hope you guys try this style. If you do, be sure to tag me in on Instagram at tattooedcurls underscore. All my links will be in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again. And turn on your post notifications so you can see the next time I upload because it is almost daily. I'm getting there, <laughs> but definitely weekly. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Peace.